I've been taking a look at Tesla stuff. Tesla makes some really beautiful cars. Uh, in fact, they're super popular, but not so much on Wall Street recently. You can see prices trading from all the way up here and around the 380 mark down to around $178. Today, I'm actually going to go take a look at some Tesla cars in person with my friend Frank. Frank has a YouTube channel where he talks all about stocks and different investments and, and all sorts of stuff regarding US equities. So now I'm going to head out and go get Frank and we're going to go see what we can find at the Tesla dealership. <laughs> this is our adventure to the Tesla dealership. Say hi, Carlo. Hi, dude. <laughs> Carlo, what's happening with the stock price of Tesla? Is it going up or down? What's up everyone? Guys, go check out his YouTube channel. He's got a full video on Tesla, um, the stock. people when they come to the forex market have no respect for the markets. When you go to college and you spend four years and a boatload of money just to get some degree in something like you know, engineering or, or science or something like that, right? That was four years and investment and long-term, you know, goals there. Trading is no different. The thing about trading success and just success in life is that it takes dedication, it takes passion, it takes hard work, and it's not something that happens overnight. Learning to respect the markets means learning how to manage a risk and learning that no matter what trading strategy you're going to have, you're going to have losers and you're going to have to deal with times that just kind of are no fun in the markets. But learning to respect the markets is absolutely critical in becoming a successful and consistent trader. It's just absolutely necessary that you learn to respect the markets for what they really are and not what's portrayed on Instagram and on social media, right? The reality of trading is that it's tough and it needs to be done with respect. How's it going guys? I'm currently downtown here about to grab a, uh, a bagel or a little bit of breakfast here from Einstein Bagels. Um, you know, I work with a lot of traders. I, I have people all over the world that I've, that I've worked with through YouTube, through, through all the different social media platforms. I had the opportunity to learn and experience you know, hundreds and even maybe thousands of traders uh, in their journey. So yeah, so I've had the experience or the chance to work with a lot of traders. And one thing that I find really, really interesting is that it's usually not the things that you would expect that usually 
actually stop a trader from being consistent. Things like uh, technical analysis, risk management, um, you know, all of that sort of stuff is definitely important. Learning how to enter the market and exit with a proper strategy, that's totally important. Um, but what usually stops people from actually being successful in the long run is not their training strategy or that their risk management is not off. You can get that and you can figure that out and that takes some time to work out through, but eventually you can get that. What stops people from being consistent in the markets is generally a lack of discipline, a lack of consistency in their trading. If you come up with a trading plan and you work really hard to um, create that plan and you think about all those different aspects, you know, the risk management and all that sort of thing, um, that's certainly, certainly very key. But the other half of that battle is keeping on when it gets tough, right? Sticking to that plan is something that most traders are going to quit and they're gonna fail because of it. Sticking to a plan through the good times and the bad times is really what makes a consistent trader profitable as opposed to traders who give up too easy and don't stick to their plan.